Hello, ladies, gents, and feet licking degenerates. Are you ready to eradicate a filthy, disgusting mechanoid cluster? Let's get everybody out there quickly. And as we analyzed in the previous episode, it really shouldn't be bad thanks to the proximity the proximity check being pretty uh pretty close like you can get super duper close and not be worrying too much about it so we'll form up right here do i even want the elephants here i don't think i want these elephants because when they get close and things explode well bad things happen to the elephants so let me just undraft them what was that banana blargo on epidemis let me reset them be sure that the elephants go back to their business. There you go. We don't need these poor, beautiful creatures to soak up bullets this time around. It is a purely human endeavor and some disgusting, filthy furries like Gravedigger. And um, there was two, right? And Banana, of course. Maybe even have the Marksman command for Banana. And now the Geezer wants to get as close as possible for he is our our anointed EMP thrower. Get everybody nicely lined up like there, right there. And this shouldn't, 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 it shouldn't be a terrible ordeal. Get the geezer right, right close so he can throw a EMP right. Oh man, catching the ones in the back will be nice, but that hopefully will get both. Uh, every meleeer, meleeer to the front line. Banana, get in the middle. And here it comes. Uh, let the attack preemptively. We want this. Actually, I will, I think I would rather attack the the mechs as they come around the corner. The stun is gonna go off for quite a while. Okay, hopefully this second EMP lands where I want it, where I want it. Don't shoot the geezer though. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh damn it. This, this, oh, this freaking Tesseron is gonna go off. I hate the Tesserons. I hate them so much. Ah! Banana got fire. And T Rose got fire big time. <laughs> Please. Uh, it's so annoying when you need to pat their fire off. Maybe it's not t Rose that's on fire. Yeah, it is t Rose that's on fire. Yeah. It is so, so upsetting. Like, the dialogue just doesn't come up. I want to make sure they fire off. It's off their anus. That said, it, sh it shouldn't be too bad. It shouldn't be too bad. Oh, shit. They shouldn't be close to the EMPs. Why are even the simplest tasks a complete disaster? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great, great, great EMP there. Ducky, sir. Uh, now throw it inside. Hold back the melee. All these shots should be 100% awesome. Uh, there's also water right there. They're going to just uh, duck and roll into the water. Should be all right. Like, get everybody. No, no. The geezer you are throwing incorrectly. That's a good spot. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Get those shots where they belong. Maybe, hopefully, destroy it. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. This, uh, uh, this is, pleases me greatly. Now... We still don't want the melee to go in there, honestly. Let me just fire over there. Actually, get a little bit closer. Everybody gets a little bit closer. And the geezer. Oh, man, that's a terrible. Let's see if we can, everybody can get back. Get back right now. Ooh. Because we have implants. If you have mechanoid implants, they, they zap your brain. And the... The... Connors becomes completely worthless. All that being said, it's like, how about you just form up right there? Just form up right there. You can shoot them a, a few times. What, is Banana going to get murdered by one of these disgusting, stupid ass turrets? No, he ain't. How bad are those shots gonna be? Not that bad. All right, let's line up right here. Everybody just line up. Don't lock on. Don't lock on. Good, good, good. Uh, not melee attack, just regular attack. Destroy the thing. No, I don't want the melee to even come in. Actually, I shouldn't have even brought them. 
melee is nearly useless in a situation where how about you guys simply go away hike and lego my mego you guys need to just chill get out of here the guns will take care of this problem let's see attack pow, 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 pow. oh it explodes I didn't know that exploded. <laughs> Please don't, don't make a giant explosion. I will be so mad. Oh, that was actually an EMP. Huh. Oh, well. Let's see if we can throw a grenade through the, I mean, yeah, a grenade through there. Maybe attack the wall. Oh, that was perfect. Okay. See if we can save the mech nodes. Now they make no, yeah, they do blow up, right? I forget, I forget whether they blow up or not. But we should be able to get a good shot from this angle. And the geezer, how about you just go back and re-equip the chain shotgun, uh, deep draft, and then re-equip the shotgun. That should be good. I uh, don't go in there yet. There's an EMP. Blargo is about to, okay. <laughs> He's about, he nearly got his brain zapped. Don't get too close though. Don't get too close. Because these explode. They're, the explosions from turrets, they're not that deadly. But, you know, you don't want to mess with it. Oh, nice. It didn't explode. That one did, though. But then it's not too close, is he? Yeah. Sweet deal, baby. All right. Survey. We got banana with a beam burn. We got T-Rose with a beam burn. Everybody else seems to be doing okay. Awesome. Successful. Still, you know, kind of annoying. Deconstruct the crap out of this. I'm forbid all the plasteel. I'm forbid all the mechs. Delicious. I don't know why I'm doing it manually. I'm just dumb. Okay, undraft Blargo. Get the deconstruction done. And then you can haul the plasteel. Uh, Erica Dawson, haul the component. Everything else, I don't really care. You guys do whatever the hell you want. Eventually, you'll get around to whatever you need to do. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The, the spoils of battle. And it gives them a nice... Defeat med cl med cluster. A, a nice four bonus, which is decent. Please, I want this lectern to be finished. Back to the struggle. Back to the annoyance of having to constantly dealing deal with the... Mental breaks. Go eat, hike. You sit down to watch TV. Just put food in your belly. All right. Good, good, good. We got some lights going on. We have the comms console being built. I want the lectors done. I want the steel brazier done so that we can finally have our ritual. Oh, yeah. Here comes Blargo to build where he will give the best of speeches. Oh, that reminds me. We need... Blargo, I know that you are building. Who else is uh, doctoring? I always forget who's our secondary doctor. The geezer and Epidamus. Let's give him the doctoring doctoring uh, priority there. Epidamus, why are you just sitting here instead of tending to T-Rose and then tend to Banana? We don't want that burn to be infected. Probably will be infected. It is the way of the burns. Yeah, we got that. And then uh, as long as the steel... Bracer gets fueled. Building one lamp, huh? As soon as it gets fueled. Oh, we got a lot of wood. We will have that depraved neural link. And hopefully, it will not be a complete disaster. Freaking break soul, man. I, I can't believe it, break soul. You're supposed to be the chosen one. Supposed to bring balance to the force. Okay. Uh, much better. Now that is a hell of a party. You get kicked out of the incredible Neuralink ceremony. You suck. All right, let's get that ceremony going. Uh, we can just forget about the fact that we barely have any meat to eat. You can forget about how utterly miserable and dark our lives have become. Inspired time and Krakakavakave. Are there any 
Well, is there any incredible wildlife? There's horses out there. Horses are great for traveling around. They're the best beast of burden out there. I think, you know, the creature that you want to carry whenever you are doing raids out there. We do have the elephants, though. I think the elephants are good enough. I don't have even a fenced area or anything like that. So let's let... Please don't be awful. It's okay if you just want to be run-of-the-mill... Doesn't have to be the greatest party of all time. Just don't be a garbage ceremony. Boring! Of course it was boring. <laughs> Screw you, Rimworld! Always messing with me. Always messing with me. The best chance that I had of boosting the mood. I am so tempted to begin a public execution of freaking Break Soul just to make sure that. May we get a little bit of a mood boost? Uh, okay, I'll let everybody eat. And then I would like to do a leader speech. And hopefully that will do a little bit of work. Okay, everybody is uh, all right. We do need to make so many things. But let me just begin a leader speech. Only 88, 84%, huh? Probably because the room is ass. But it does have like an 80-ish, close to 80% chance of it being decent. It does take two hours. I will do it in the morning. I really want this dug out so we can get started destroying these damn chunks. Low food. I, I'm all too aware that we're low on food. Wildlife. I guess we can just murder the horses that don't fight back. Believe me, I know from extensive experience of animal abuse. When I was growing up, when I was 13 years old, I went through a horse a week. Make so much glue. All right. Because Papa, he will just give me anything I wanted. And I wanted dead horses to eat. What, you thought I was riding them to exhaustion? <laughs> I don't ride things. I eat them. Anyway. I don't, know, I don't know where I was going with that anecdote. Just kind of popped in my mind. Good old times. Really looking forward to having rooms instead of just a, a shack, a hall in the middle of nowhere. I am offended that the depraved neural link was ass. <laughs> I am so upset. All right, let's begin that. Leader speech. Gather around for Blargo has something to tell you. I know that we had it made. We had such a great spot, life was great, everything was prosperity, and then I decided to uproot us and bring us here. Why? Why? Because there was a voice whispering in my mind and I had to come here to the mountains of madness to find a destiny. It's prior <laughs> our destiny shall be found. Okay. All right, buddies. Just do your thing. Build me an empire. I am so ready to get a nice w workshop going on over here. I'm going to, all these wooden doors, they're all going to go away. Maybe, probably not. I have a, a tendency of not doing what I say I'm going to do because I just forget. But the intention is to, you know, build a very nice set of doors instead of just disgusting as wooden half leaf trash that just falls apart in your hand. Some nice machinery. Don't mind if I do. Compacted machinery is fantastic. All right. Uh, production. Finally, we get a stone cutter stable. Slave suppression. That's right. Keep him down. Let's build one here and one over here. We're going to have a lamp. Muscle parasites. Congratulations, you have installed an upgrade. The upgrade is Muscle Parasites. It's for three people, Banana, the Geezer, and Ragman. Not just our usual T-Rose disease. Everybody gets Muscle Parasites. I really could use that, that hospital right about now. Let's get it done. Let's get it started. All right. Uh, a very... Weird hospital shape. Really inefficient. Not my best design. 
but I don't really care. It's all good. It's going to be fine. The symmetries are completely out of whack. I don't care. Nothing matters. Let's put... Um, I guess we can... Well, eventually we'll expand it that way. It's an extremely inefficient shape. <laughs> I really don't like it, but it's all right. There will always be time later to fix things. He just created a masterwork bed. Masterwork bed! Because he is a master and he worked on it. I am so proud of you, Vlargo. Life may be ass right now, but at least you create quality furniture. All right. St uh, speaking of quality furniture, let's get them in the place. Absolutely gorgeous. Finally, we got a few rooms. Look at all this trash. <laughs> Just uh, all strewn all over the place. I don't know why I even queue the, the move. Because it is completely worthless. Oh yeah, make any stones. Do it forever. Because there's no space. Pretty damn silly. Okay, now structure. We're going to make a wooden wall. Like so. Build that. And then some furniture. Ah, well, the blocks, we'll just throw them on the ground. Uh, drop on floor for now. And then... Yeah, that's nice. Conversion! Tried to convert the geezer to her own ideal. The geezer has convinced. Changed her ideal religion. Finally! Call to the Blargonize. Just hike all by herself. Just working the Lord's work. Absolutely well done, hike. The geezer can finally be inducted into, into the hallowed group of maniacs is Jesse Fassman. Welcome, Jesse. I didn't even give you a, a re resident, uh, the geezer. You are still the geezer as your title. A criminal surgeon. I, I like that she was a criminal surgeon that she specified on her resume when she was wa talking to people and stuff. It was like, I wasn't just a surgeon. I was an unlawful criminal surgeon. I did so many messed up shit. You have no idea who you're messing with. You know, she was just giving you some street cred, making sure that you were properly intimidated by her appearance. So, uh, making certain that you know she don't mess with nobody. You shouldn't mess with, with her, is what I'm trying to say, in a very torturous manner. Give me some more hospital beds because they're going to need them. As Ragman, Banana, and whoever else got completely screwed by muscle parasites. They're so annoying. Those type of diseases that do nothing are, you know, that, that they don't have a, a buildup that you can get cured. It's just completely... I think my elephants are eating my mushrooms! <laughs> no! No mushrooms! Freaking elephants! You have a whole field of trees to eat. You're eating my mushrooms, you freaking piece of garbage. Threat pods, the Ambaber, High Chief of the Amsa Union, is making a request. A mechanoid swarm has been attacking his her settlements. She wants you to signal the mechs to distract them while she clears the hive. If you do, a mechanoid cluster will land. Psychic Droner, two power cells. What is the, the actual threat? Mech High Shield. Assemblers and a capsule and two slugger. That, like, that's not awful. And we get our prestige. Ooh, what's a Hellcat rifle legendary? A versatile assault rifle with good range, decent power, and good accuracy. It also comes equipped with a bioferrite powered mini burner unit, which generates a blast of flame from pressurized bioferrite. Bioferrite, well, that's a per, ferrite, right? Bioferrite charges. The mini burner unit can be used twice before refueling. That is badass. Uh, before I forget, hike, do a uh, conversion. By the way, is this thing cool then? Begin conversion ritual. Filth. Oh wow, this is this is pretty bad quality, huh? But it, there is a twenty percent chance of a masterful one. Begin. Do it. You're going to convert this idiot to our ideal legion, and we will no longer refer to her as an idiot. She will be a, just a faithful member 
of our society. Quest. I mean, this is like nothing, right? Four me ah, there's the threat. Four mech nodes. That means there are little machines that call down mechs when uh, when you activate the the cluster. It will have a shield, so you can't just shoot it from afar. Two mech assemblers, which we should be able to destroy. And a mech capsule. So the capsule pops out as soon as you attack the, the cluster. There's nothing you can do about that. There is a good possibility of, of uh, EMPing the mech nodes. And you might be able to not die from it. The problem... Days on break soul, huh? <laughs> Poor bastard. He is in the dark. I don't know. I don't know if I want to do this. I, mech clusters can be a, a real problem when they go out of control. And I already have a Mech Commander helmet. Do I really want... I really would like this legendary freaking rifle. That would be pretty awesome. Let's just leave it... Leave it there. You can do it, Hike. You can convert her. Yes! Ineffective. <laughs> well, her certainly went up. Not the most convincing uh, moment of your life, Hike. I forgive you. I forgive you. You have uh, been through too much hardship. You just gotta get a little bit better. Let's create something that it is basically 60, huh? I don't want to make it out of steel. I just make it out of steel. Just for now, we can put a steel sarcophagus right here. Just to have a meditation spot for Ragman. Because he's just sitting there kneeling at the, at the human leather sheet. Without anything to focus on. And he's morbid, isn't he? He's just trigger, trigger happy. Let me look at the thing. Uh, meditation focus types. Only artistic. So actually, this is ass. Can he meditate at the incredible art on a bed? Let me see. Meditation spot. No, no. It doesn't take that. So you, we basically will need... Uh, might as well get one of these. Our benches. Might as well put it here. We can put it right there. Uh, now... We will put this as the home area. There you go. So that it gets cleaned. Build this damn wall. That's quite a lot of surplus. That's nice. And we're going to... As soon as we have some stones, we can start building some shelves. Shelves will bring an enormous amount of organization. It is time also to build a freaking fence. For our poor boomalopes. Since since it's only one, I might as well build it out of freaking plasteel. And as we have established before, fenced areas, they are not things that get attacked. So you can be very liberal, just put them wherever, and uh, the boomalopes will not be disturbed. I was wondering, should I maybe just dig through here so we have access to everything over there instead of having people go all the way around there? It is a very nice defense, me defense mechanism to be able to just line people up here and just shoot them as you, they try to come around the river, you know? So it might be pretty great to just leave it as is. Anyway, let's make a giant fence along the river. Major break risk. Everything is always going to shit. Do something like that, and then we'll make a gate right there. I'll make a gate right there. Nice. These poor boomalopes have been uh, running out of food. They have exhausted their radius. So eventually that fence shall be built. And also we need to build this miscellaneous. Yeah, a pen marker for these poor boomalopes. There you go. All right. We get some time going forward. Continue building things. Holy crap, man. This is just too much. It's just Stop it. Hoys Kinroar have arrived nearby. It looks like they want to besiege the colony and pound you with mortars from a distance. Scumbag. It's absolute filth. Disgusting furries. We're going to go out into the field and meet them in battle. Banana is not doing great, though. What were you doing out there? Oh, you were hunting. 
and you are sleepy and hungry. Tired, serious pain. Because you also have the muscle parasites. What a nightmare. <laughs> I mean, banana is our MVP when it comes to shooting. Mm. So it, it sucks. But he is so indisposed. Oh, you know what I can do? I can just drug him! Let me... <laughs> let me grab... I know that we still have some wake up. I took everything but one. Or did I? I may have used the third one. It's very possible I used the third one. Ah, that sucks. Probably grab, should have bought a few more. So you can just give him the jo go juice. Inject the go juice. I am sure. Inject the go juice, banana. I'm sure nothing bad will happen. Anyway, we need to take this seriously. Grab everybody. Medical treatment needed, huh? Ugh, freaking muscle parasites, man. They're so ups upsetting. Oh, this should be hospital? Medical? Oh, nice. Nicely done. <laughs> you idiot! Storage this. Clear everything. Medicine. Only medicine. And uh, hema. Hem hemogen. There you go. Only that. Don't put freaking mortar shells <laughs> in the damn... Hospital, you baboons. We really wish that she'd been treated though. Eh, just go out there. We have to take this very, very seriously. Just don't get addicted, banana. Just get yourself high, but keep it under control. I'll be so mad if you get addicted with just one use. Oh, yeah, baby. Look at that. The mood goes up. He goes, he goes, ch ch high on go juice, five. Recreation, sleep goes up a lot, and now he's going to be moving much, much faster. Drugs are a massive boon. They have a huge risk factor, though. All right. Uh, we can just peek around the corner, huh? I guess that will be the best way to do all about things. Any animals? Yeah, we can maybe convince one of these boomalopes. To attack. That would be hilarious. The animal war call is so much fun to play with. It's a great time. Do we want the elephants? Now that I think about it. Probably, right? Yeah, let's go back to the animals. Everybody gets drafted into... Oh, elephant calf. We have not named it. Have not trained it. Okay, let's wait for the elephants to come around. In the meantime, we can... Oh, the... Yeah. We can get a war call going. They are asleep. <laughs> I mean, there's nothing... Nothing going on right now, huh? Unfortunately! Don't you guys want to attack? Ah! Oh, jeez! <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> I was not prepared. I was not prepared. Holy crap, dude. I just see my entire life flash through my eyeballs. Uh, you guys don't want to attack, huh? I thought that for sure they would just seek out like a manhunter pack, but no. Uh, yeah, we need to assault these scumbags immediately. What is, what is the weapons here? Does this son of a bitch have a freaking shield pack? He does. Oh, that sucks. I mean, they only have, let's see, they have shotguns, just revolvers. They do have a heavy SMG. That is respectable. Just send out the guys with the shields first. Ragman, you need to go in there. Unfortunately, the, the elephants haven't arrived yet. Where are they? My bad, my bad. I was supposed to redraft... And that's what does it. Jesse Passman, you're all the way back there. You absolute idiot. Um, Evan Damas. Ah, the elephants now are going to wait way too long to approach. It's all right. What's the worst that can happen? I, mean, I might just set them on fire. Okay, buddies. Let's go over there. Crocodile Vagbit doesn't have a shield, huh? He really should. 
put yourself there. And then without selecting Crack Like Magby, let's get a firing squad right there. Oh yeah, they're gonna draw the fire. And now we shoot. Should I send Hike in the middle of everything and just try to club people in the head? That seems like a, a way to suicide her, you know? We don't work like that. We don't do that. Ooh, but I definitely want a psychic shock to happen. Go over here. Ooh. And psychic shock Zebo is probably one of the most dangerous here. Oh, you know what? Wait, wait, wait. Psychic shock the guy with the shield. Come on, come on. Don't attack. Go down, you scum lord. Yeah, the probably translates into a shield for us if it goes well hike it is your time it is your time to shine let's also be sure that this scum lord with the with the molotov goes down man those shields drawing all the a lot of the sh the firepower is absolutely great like destroying the enemy cast a blinding pulse on these filthy freaking wookies here we have our first volunteer get wrecked he's down hike is just clawing people in the head but she is getting pounded and not in the fun way somebody's gonna shoot this freaking mortar i don't think so all right, I think it's time to charge. Kill Zebo, and you guys keep uh, firing. How about you charge as well? Maybe we can bring down Duresh. Okay, I went down. Whew, I thought maybe she had died or something. Getting a lot of shots here. This is upsetting. Who shot fire? Somebody shot fire. I'm not sure. Maybe one of the Molotov cocktails made it down there. Very possible. Get more blinding pulses. There you go. Zebo will hopefully get shut down. Don't shoot at Zebo though. Hike, <laughs> don't get back up, Hike. What are you doing? <laughs> Crawling to safety. I wish I could uh, tell you not to. Okay, she didn't actually get back up. She's just. Okay, that's down. Let's go this way. Murder, murder. Oh man, all these shots. Hey, they're fleeing. Everybody go forth. The crackle of Ivy shouldn't have should have been charging. I want none to escape, probably they will. Maybe set them on fire while they flee. That is always funny. <laughs> yeah. oh. Shoot it right there. Here it comes. Oh baby, got you. <laughs> Got you good! <laughs> pretty great about setting him on fire. That is pretty great. I, I hate that those two are fleeing though, but totally worth Oh! Oh! Quickly! Strip! We can actually capture him. How bad is he? Good shooting. He's kind of psychically dull. Intellectual animal. He's a good colonist. But he might get back up. How long does the brain zap last? Flak jacket. I mean, this is worth keeping. You are dead, though. You are just dead meat. You're going to die horribly. By my hand. Let me just cut you with plasma. Erica Dawson, how about you rescue hike? She did well. She did well, but you know, she had what she had to do. Heavy SMG over there. It's like a different uh, different graphics. They they updated the sprite for that. Okay, Blargo is over there going to strip that fella. I want to capture him though. We're going to capture him. Let's get some furniture. Sleeping spot. Really what I should be doing is getting... Surely I have an unknown one, yeah. 
You install it right here. I should be building freaking beds is what I should be doing. Maybe giving the prisoners a table. Let's do it before I forget because I am very liable to just forget it. Give them a table right there and a couple stools. Make their lives slightly less miserable for the purposes of having them join the colony. Uh, all right. The Y Shirsh shall go down like a total bitch. These guys can continue shooting. Strip. Win bitch. And then he will get sorted to death. Capture King Shushushushush. He got stripped though. Ah, oh, I guess he didn't get stripped. Okay, let me make sure that he gets stripped. Because that shield belt, uh, the shield pack is super good. What a great get. Okay, Bowman is probably going to escape. Uh, this guy is still alive. Shooting animals. Staggeringly ugly. We don't get. We don't accept uggos into this colony. Look at Brick Soul. Okay, we're good. Let me orders uh, allow all this good stuff. Probably want to stop this fire from spreading. There you are. The crackle back. We do the dirty deed yet? Hope so. Okay, let me uh, not equip it. I want you to haul it. Beating fire out. Just murder that guy. Okay, he went down. With a little bit of medicine too. Unfortunately, the other one escaped. But for the most part, that was absolutely excellent. Great defense. Let's take a stock of possible bleeders. Everybody's doing good. Crackle the they get a shot in the leg. That's about it. Freaking <laughs> the geezer, Jesse Fassman. Absolutely worthless. <laughs> It's okay. Let me just rescue, rescue, continue rescuing. And everybody can do whatever the hell they want. Crack like Vagway, eliminate. Well done. I appreciate you. Oh! Okay, he's beating that fire out. Please don't let it explode. He did. <laughs> Fantastic. Don't explode! Okay. <laughs> Could have been a disaster. Look. Bunch of mortars that I am looking forward to ignoring completely. Let me reinstall them somewhere in the encampment. And then we will move them around at some point. Okay, is the fire out? The fire is out. Hey, we got some more wake up. Wake up is super good. But like I said, a uh, big risk reward proposition. You may get super screwed. Nice! We got also a bunch of food. Really useful package survival. Think of my bobbers. Zebo. Why would you hold Zebo? Because we're gonna eat them! That's right! We are cannibals! <laughs> I forgot that holy crap, were we desperate for some human food? I mean in the most literal way possible. All these morons. Hungry Hitch Animal. Don't worry, don't worry. The fence shall be built, built at some point. Somebody who had a, yeah, a bit of a bleeder. Wearing shield belt. He should have been, he should have been wearing the shield belt. Wonder why he wasn't. Major break wrist on Ragman. Why? Neuro supercharge, no artificial enhancement, one human meat. Finally, that's going to be solved. Oh, that's going to be great, being able to cook with human meat are these mushrooms anywhere close nah we'll just make simple meals out of it unfortunate but that's just what it's got to be it's okay they're going to be excellent meals nice cannibal meals delicious a lot of medical treatments that need to happen but thankfully now we have a decent hospital and when i say decent hospital i mean a hole in the ground with blue beds Furniture. Give me some good lighting. There you are. Hike. Poor hike. Got be pretty bad, but nothing permanent. 
What are you doing? Just tend. Is anybody bleeding? There was one bleeder and he's all the way out. Should I be spending my herbal medicine? Probably not, right? Right now I have not even any planted, let alone available. I really should have a nice patch of herbal medicine going. It's not going to happen for a while. But it's always good to have it. Jesse Fassman, why are you so slow? Why are you hauling? In fact, you should not be hauling at all. Jesse Fassman, I never brought down the hauling... Uh, the hauling priority. That's the problem. Everybody has super prioritized the hauling. Let me just bring it down to number two. It should not be prioritized anymore. Mother-in-law has lost the skill attack. That's oh, okay. We'll, we'll, we'll get around to that. Somebody. Mm, yeah, Banana is our resident handler. Grave Digger should be doing it too. But because we I had prioritized the freaking uh, hauling so much. 41 minutes. How can it be? <laughs> You're having a grand old time in RimWorld. It's always so exciting to start a new colony. There's so many things that you need to happen. Hey, fat haired nerd is finally making some stones. This pleases me. Why are the elephants in here, though? Clear the allowed area for the filth. No filth indoors. There you are. Oh yeah, finally got some sandstone furniture. Let's get some sandstone shelves. They shall go right there. Tons and tons of stones. Tons of stones. Clear everything, just blocks. Stone blocks. And I guess also um, steel. Blast steel and steel. The stuff. They should put the wood in there too, but whatever. Lego by Mego. Please, where, where are you? Eh, it's just a few bruises and cracks. Don't be a pussy. Let me get you butchered. Everything butchered. Uh, yes, you want to butcher human-like corpses. Allow strangers. Allow unnatural, whatever that's supposed to be. Eh, let's not allow that, actually. Yeah, all right, there you go. Oh, finally. We get some human-like meat. Oh, there he begins. She's eating it right away raw. She just can't wait. Just putting it straight in her face with all the blood and gristle. Doesn't give a crap. Just putting it in her stomach. Oh, T Rose is so happy to finally be treated again to real food. Look at this. Look at this. Raw cannibalism. 20. Mm mm mm. She loves it because she's an actual cannibal. She's not one of those silly people that converted to cannibalism. She was the real deal from the start. How's Hike doing with the conversion? Still quite a wise, quite a ways. Grave digger eating all that good stuff. Animal starvation. I know, I know. The, the, the fence is supposed to be built. Working on it. Mother malnutrition. I guess I need to. Virgo, I wish you need to not be patient. You need to not be patient. There you go. You should be doctor first, and then you tend to yourself. Moran. There you go. You can consume the simple meal if you like. And now I'm just going to force you to build a fence. Work on that plasteel fence. These are very, very big. Well, what, what? Oh, chunks of spacecraft. All right. Oh, yeah, yeah. Freaking 45 minutes. It's just... I notice the time and then I completely forget about it. Gut worms, huh? How wonderful. <laughs> Rimworm just loves me. This is, you're throwing diseases at me. You would think that we settle in the freaking jungle, but no. It's a sterile mountain. What is in the air of this damn place? What is going on? And I'm still waiting. I'm still waiting for some kind of uh, consequence to this strange signal. At some point, something's going to happen. I've been, I've been assured something will happen. Something will happen. 
Oh man, there's some freaking waste packs too. We need to freeze them. I guess for now, we're gonna put some waste packs here. Unfortunate. We'll build a big freezer probably somewhere around here. Maybe just build it out over there. I don't know. I don't know where I'll put it. But certainly not with my food. Anyway, more RimWorld fun. It never ends. Give me more diseases. I can take them.